Once you understand how you can create this beautiful navigation menu inside this application, what I want, I want to protect this dashboard and this setting routes from the unauthorized user. Before we go about creating our protected routes, we'll need a way to figure out if the user is authenticated. We can create the fake authentication hook to determine the user authentication status. Let me show you what I want to say. Here, I'm going to create a new file inside my project, inside the source directory. Here, I'm going to create a new folder, name this folder hooks and inside this hooks i'm going to create a new file name this file auth.js now what i want i want to create here a store so we can access the same value in all my components so as you know we have different components inside this application what i want i want to create a central store for all these components so we can access the same object in any of these components so let's suppose that inside this app we have an object called auth and this object is going to have auth property with the value true i want to access this object in all my components to do that i can use redux but instead of using redux for this small application we can simply use create context hook of react if you want to know more about react hooks then i have a complete course on it you can check out that course from the link provided in the description just for now let's understand how we can use context api to create this central store i'm simply going to first import react hooks so I'm going to say here object from react and from this react I'm going to import create context and just out of the store here I'm going to say constant initial state is equal to and inside an object I'm going to pass auth false now this is my object and I want to access this object in all my components so I can authorize the user right now the user status is false means unauthorized so just out of this initial state right down here i'm going to create a context to create a context you need to call here create context hook this one and inside this here you specify the initial state so i'm going to call this initial state and specify that to this create context and then i'm going to say here constant and then name this auth context now just out of that you have to call this auth context as a wrapper to your app component so instead of adding this auth context inside this index.js, we can simply call here a function. And then we can call that function inside the index.js file. Let me show you what I want to say. Here I'm going to call a command and say auth provider. And then here I'm going to create and export a function. Name this function auth provider like this. And this is going to return this auth context, this one. So I'm going to call here auth context, something like this. And this auth context is going to provide a property called provider. So we call here provider. And then this is going to return a store. Or you can say the initial value. So here I'm going to call value is equal to, and then I'm going to pass this initial value here. So I'm going to copy this initial state and then specify that here. Just out of that, as you can see, we call here a property provider of this auth context so we have to specify the same closing tag right here as well so let me just copy this and specify that right here just out of that right here i'm going to call all my children right here i'm going to call an object and say here children then i'm going to call the children and specify that right here so if i add any component inside this auth provider I can have all that components as a children of this auth provider. Now let me save the changes back to the index.js right here. And at the top, right up here, I'm going to say import in the object. We need to call auth provider. As you can see, we have the export function auth provider. I'm going to call that here inside an object from specify here dot forward slash hooks and then specify the auth file. And then I'm going to call this auth provider as a wrapper to this app component. So I'm going to call this auth provider something like this and specify the app component right inside this auth provider. So we can access the initial state or you can say the central store in all my components. Let me save the changes and now let me show you how you can access this value. So now to access this value in your component, you have to first back to the global.js right here. You can see. We have the home page and inside this home page right up here i'm gonna call 
use context hook of React. The use context hook is used to access the value of the create context. Inside this global.js, right up here, I'm going to say import in the object. I'm going to say use context and I'm going to grab that from the React library like this. Inside this home component, I'm going to say constant auth is equal to use context. And what you have to do is you have to specify the auth context, this one, to this use context. So instead of importing this auth context from this auth file, I can create a function here. I can create my own hook so we can access the value of this auth context. So instead of this statement, let me get it of it. Let me get it of this import statement as well. And inside this auth.js, right down here, I can create my own auth consumer hook. So right down here, just out of this comment, I'm going to say export default. I'm going to specify the default export from this file and then specify here a function. The function name is auth consumer. Now that's about you. You can specify any name to this component. And then I'm going to return here use context. Now, as you know, I don't have this use context inside this file. Right here, let me just import that use context and specify that context right here. Use context. And we need to pass here context. So I'm going to copy this auth context and specify that here. So now instead of using use context in the component, we can easily now use auth consumer. Let me just save the changes. Copy this auth consumer back to the global.js here. I'm going to say import auth consumer from dot forward slash double dot forward slash specify hooks and we have here auth file and now because this is the default export we don't need to specify any parenthesis so just down here i can simply specify constant auth is equal to auth consumer that's it and now if i see here console dot log and print this auth let me say the changes open my console and reload it you can see I'm going to have my auth value inside this console and I can access the same value in any of this component using this auth consumer hook. So this is how you can create a context inside your React application. Let me just enhance this example and show you how we can change the value of this auth variable.